Go for Spinach is a really great animation. This is a Popeye cartoon from 1954. It's directed by Seymour Nightel and Thomas Johnson and written by Carl Mayer with uh, Jack Mercer voicing Popeye. And of course, this is a famous studios cartoon and I really thoroughly enjoyed it. But there is one character in it who just felt a little out of place. And I will, I guess with a spoiler warning, mention more about that in a moment. But it starts off with Popeye planting his spinach and he's treating them like babies and it's just absolutely adorable. I particularly love the little bottle of what looked like milk. I thought that was very, very cute. And then he realises that there's a gopher who is, of course, after his spinach. And that's all well and good. And I thought the animation would be about him battling with this gopher. And if that had been the case, it would have been probably a near-perfect cartoon at least in terms of the narrative structure and the animation and visually it is stunning it is absolutely gorgeous I just I love the design of every aspect of this the color palette is great and I really thoroughly enjoyed all of that and the gopher is very cute the gopher does look very very cute but something happened that I just I don't know why they thought to include this because well personally I don't like it maybe they were trying to make it a narrative with more layers to make it visually more engaging. But I think if they just focused on the antics of this gopher and maybe Popeye's different attempts to try and get rid of the gopher, which is, of course, what a lot of this is about, then it would have been a little bit better. But that being said, I still really thoroughly enjoyed this and I do recommend it. So a spoiler from now, I'm not going to tell you what they do with this character, but I will tell you what the character is. And this other character that I'm talking about is a bull. And I don't understand the significance of this bull. I still have quite a lot of Popeye cartoons to watch. So maybe the bull is significant and I'll find out more later. But the bull just appearing felt really random. And the, the bull was included way more than I'd expected. And I just don't understand why they thought they needed to include the bull. Maybe they thought the cartoon wasn't going to be interesting enough with just Popeye and the gopher. But personally, I think it would have worked very well. And in fact, there are a lot of other cartoons from other studios where we just have our protagonist and rodents, usually, or something threatening their crops. There are a lot of Donald Duck and Chip and Dale cartoons that are very, very similar, and they work well without including a bull. So I don't know. Maybe other people like what the bull brings to it. And if that's the case, that's absolutely fine. But personally, it just didn't work well for me. But not enough to affect my overall enjoyment. As I said, I do still very much recommend Go For Spinach. It's just not perfect. But nevertheless, I enjoyed it. Probably wouldn't watch it again, but certainly enjoyed watching it just now.